Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Databricks. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this lesson we will learn how to investigate the data from data science perspective. Also, we will learn how to create a correlation matrix, how to normalize the data and how to prepare the data to use it for machine learning. By the end of the lesson, you will have learned how to create a correlation matrix to see the, how different columns correlate with each other. You will also learn how to normalize the data and prepare it for machine learning. And then at the end, you will write the data that you created back to the database. For this lesson, we will use a new dataset which is going to be a dataset for wine quality UCI. Download the dataset and then we will load it into our Databricks table to use it for further processing. Once the dataset is loaded, we will create a new table and select the downloaded dataset to load into the table. Then select the cluster into which you want to create the table and after selecting the cluster, you can see the data loaded into the table. Here you have to check the box for first line is header and infer schema. The infer schema is going to automatically detect the data type of the columns according to the data present inside it. Then I am going to change the column names and click create table. And thus your table will be created with the data set loaded inside it. For the next step, I will create a notebook, give a suitable name to your notebook and select Python as the default language. We will start by loading the data from our table which is wine quality into our data frame object. And in this way, once we execute the query, the data will be loaded. Our next step is to create a correlation matrix and for that we are going to import two libraries, the correlation matrix and the vector assembler. The correlation matrix is usually used to define how two columns are related to each other. Now we will instantiate the vector assembler and inside it we are going to pass the input column as all the columns present inside the data frame object and the output of the vector assembler is going to be stored in vcall variable. And then in order to actually run it, we are going to transform the data frame object and we are going to store it in a new data frame. Now we will do the correlation on the vectorized data by passing the new data frame object and the output column of the vector. Now we will take this correlation matrix and convert it into a data frame object and we are going to use the same name for the columns as they were in the original data frame object. Then we will simply display the new data frame and execute the query. Once the query is executed, it will show us a matrix and in this matrix you can see that the rows are connected to their columns. So the first row and the first column is the same so they have a perfect correlation and the second row is the same as the second column and so on. Moving forward, you can see that there are some strong correlations, both positive and negative for some of the attributes as compared to quality. Now, once again, we will use the vector assembler on the data frame, but this time the input columns will be all the columns in the data frame except the last column, which is quality. And the output of the vector assembler is going to be a new column called features. We will transform the previous data frame and the result of this vector transformation will be stored in a new data frame object called features df. And then of course we will display this new data frame object and then execute the query. And in the output you will see that we have a new column called features and inside this column we have the vectorized data. So all the values present in this column are the same as the values present in other columns. Now we will move towards normalizing the data and for data normalization we will include a new library called the standard scalar. For normalization we will specifically select the features column and the quality column because we want both the vectorized column as well as the quality column to compare it. Now we will instantiate the standard scalar and inside it we are going to define features column as our input column and we are going to create a new column normalized to get the output. We will look at the result in which we are going to pass our features df and transform it into the standard scalar to get the normalized data. Here in the output you can see that we have the features column, 
we have the quality column and we have the normalized data now i will store this normalized result in a new data frame object to use it later on after storing the normalized data into a data frame object i am finally going to move it into a new table called normalized wine data it is admissible that you should also store this data into a new table because this normalized data will be used in later videos too you can view this new table by clicking on data and selecting the normalized data, wine data table and inside the data you can see that we have three columns quality features and normalized and all the data present inside table and this is all about normalization of data this is all for this video thank you